Hey, what's up everyone? It's David here. This time I'm going back to a format that we're used to, that I usually do, and it's to do with the TV and satellite. Not this time with Sky, but actually Freesat Box. I managed to get my old Samsung Freesat Box to work with my Panasonic TV. For some reason, it didn't like the cable that I was using, so I had to go through about six or eight different cables. And in the end, well, it works, but I had have issues because it would only go at 7.6i and it, every time it went to anything like 720, 1080i you know, or p, it would just basically, um, what you may call it, you'd basically get like, uh, it's very similar to what you used to receive in transmission through analog when you didn't pick up a channel, when you went to channel 6 because there was no channel 6. So, yeah, so this is the Samsung S7800, and this is quite an old box now. This came out in 2011, and it had what, some, some of the best features at the time, because it had BBC iPlayer, and it also had ITV iPlayer, which later became ITV Hub, but those are since gone now. Those, those went about a couple of years ago now. So, uh, unfortunately, it's just a, a receiver now and a recorder and um, one of the great features of this box though was the fact that when you actually went onto the channels you could actually find out the signal quality for each channel so if I just press the I button on the remote and press I again there you go it tells you the frequency the modulation the polarity which is vertical on this this uh, input it says tune a lot yes FE E C three to four. We've got a three three out three out of four ain't bad. <laughs> and uh symbol rate, you know, that's uh two two nine 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 KS and then I go to press the arrow for it says tuner index for the other input and it says the obviously the frequency, the the modulation, the polarity, this this one's horizontal on this side because how the oh the original uh, satellite system worked for um, recording was vertical and horizontal, and now obviously with the uh, Sky Q, it eliminates that because it it basically has the tuners more than one tuner inside the actual box, and then it basically converts the signal at the at the actual box instead. Whereas the before it would just basically send one signal vertical and one horizontal to the L and B. But anyway, yeah, so you can see there's a hundred percent signal uh, strength and quality. Uh for some reason I have no idea why that one's ninety six. <laughs> Maybe I could do a little bit of fine tuning, but that basically says that that's the highest my satellite's gonna receive. As I said, I might be able to do four percent, I don't know. <laughs> Might be a lot of major tweaking just to get that to do that, but other than that, signal quality is 100%. So, I mean, you could take that as a victory. I mean, no, no satellite engineer is going to say, ah, oh, oh, sorry, sir, I'll take tweak that for you just so you can get 100%. He ain't going to do that, but uh, yeah, anyway. Um, if I just go to the menu and you can see here how it's laid out, it's got the time and the clock on it, the date, so all channels, entertainment, HD, news and sport, movies, music, children, faith, that's religion, shopping, on demand, eh, it doesn't work anymore, regional, yeah, and radio, so all of them work apart from that one, and I don't know if it's actual channel, no, the only one that's still there is the preset info. I don't know if that would even work if I connect a network cable to the back of the, the, the TV. So let's just go back to... Well, another cool thing was that, you see the media on here? I haven't got it plugged, I haven't got it plugged into a uh, network. But what this would do is if you have a, a NAS, it could actually show photos and play music at the same time which was pretty cool, so yeah, the, like a slideshow sort of thing. 
going on in the background and you can also play videos as well AVI files to be exact so that, that was another cool feature on of the box and you can plug in a USB, USB as well and play AVI files off of this machine as well so I mean it, I can still internally stream I just can't use an actual um, outside provider like uh, the BBC used to do for it. So HD and we got we got BBC Two HD, ITV HD. You they're in a different area because obviously BBC One HD. There's quite a few multiple ones. You have got London and regional and all that sort of thing. Scotland. So it all depends on your postcode what you set up your uh, your free set box to. Uh, neighbors and HD now there isn't any channel for HD they used to be but uh, free set up set channel 4 and uh, they uh, they basically left uh, a few years ago and they haven't come back ever since but they still got channel 4 standard definition on the platform they just haven't got any HD variant and there was only one HD channel that ITV no sorry channel 4 actually provided but the only one that provides more than one HD channel is the BBC. But all the others just provide one. So ITV HD is not available on FreeSet. That's a pay to view service. Quest HD, that's a good uh, channel because that's basically owned by the Discovery Network. So you can watch Discovery programs after they've aired a year or two after they've aired on their actual flagship channel. The Smithsonian. That's the museum in Washington DC that has all of the aircraft and uh, other um, sorry space like space shuttle and uh, rockets and um, yeah generally uh, American history as well as uh, Egyptian basically everything around the world it's, it's one of the, one of the largest if not the largest um, museum in the world so yeah go down to the BBC News HD again so that's actually the third one no uh, yeah because ah yeah BBC free hey BBC is coming back so BBC free HD should be joining the free set box again so that'll be another HD channel coming And you've got RT HD. You've also got the children's channels as well in HD. So there's quite a few. So if you don't want to pay a Sky subscription, getting a free set box can be, a, you know, not a bad deal. But only problem is, I find with the uh, with the on-demand services, they were very short-lived, and they always say on the adverts, free set box or whatever, no subscription, one box is all you ever need. Except when we close down the servers on those um, on-demand services, then you're going to need another box because it just becomes a, a receiver and recorder rather than an actual, well, what, originally what they advertised it for as a on-demand multimedia uh, setup box. So, as I said, it's been, it was a right issue getting the, um, the TV to communicate with it was unfortunate but uh yeah see there all of the channels five usa paramount so for for some of us that are obviously used to um Sky subscriptions, this might be a little bit too basic for us because um, obviously we, we like the whole having the channels. <laughs> That's the whole reason for having Sky. But if you've got one of these and you've got an Xbox, say, or any other, or a smart TV, and so you've got your Netflix and you've got your Amazon and your YouTube. Again, this you actually used to have a YouTube, but they removed that as well, so it was unfortunate, but you know. Hey ho, things happen. Um, but yeah, they um, yeah. So if you got all of those uh, things, you don't really need to bother. It's just if you want to receive, you know, a good HD picture, and you know, 
much from that way but actually this box only supports 1080p but if I type in 9998 sorry 998 yeah funny enough free set UHD so it picks up the, the data but it doesn't it can't actually show any picture but it does play uh, the, the, the sound but actually I can turn the sound on because I don't think that's licensed so if you can hear that so I have no idea what the channel does so obviously I would have to buy a um, a free set UHD box to find out which I could do let me know in the comments below if I should do that or not so yeah so all in all it's a pretty good box still it obviously it has its limitations see the picture quality here not bad I mean we are on a 75 inch TV so it's not gonna look brilliant anyway but it's actually pretty it's a lot better than what you get in the actual um, the built-in tuners into the TVs because these these when they run through the HDMI they tend to be upscaled whereas when they're actually built into the TV they just obviously that that well they're basically the standard definition tuners in these uh, well not st well standard definition is obviously pre HD but HD now has become in a way kind of like standard so it is an like it is become the standard you know <laughs> but yeah it's not standard definition it's still HD but it's not UHD and none of the TVs at the moment have UHD tuners in them and there's not actually any uh, plans to actually do live broadcasts in UHD anywhere through the uh, through the air or majorly through the satellite because the satellites um, they tend to use, uh, you know, IP TV, internet protocol television. So very few. I mean, our Sky haven't done a, tr a live transmission in uh, UHD either. It's just been through the internet again. So yeah, that. So uh, that. Sorry, that concludes the um, the video. Um, hope you found it interesting. I hope I haven't blabbered on too long, but uh, yeah. For thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe, bye for now.